Okay, this video is about to change your whole outlook on how simple, simple it is to create Dreamweaver CSS using Dreamweaver. I'm using Dreamweaver CS5. You can do this in CS3, CS4. CS5 is what I'm currently using for Macintosh. Anytime you hear me hit the, hit the command key on Windows, it's the control key. The option key on Windows is the alt key. The shift key, of course, is the shift key. So we're gonna get started. Notice over here that I have my basic HTML, CSS, body tag, paragraph tag, h1 tag, h2 tag, image tag, and an asterisk tag. The asterisk tag talk, talks to all 92 HTML tags and basically sets the default to zero. It's a good habit to get into. This way, it gets rid of the space you can count from zero. So we're gonna get started by creating a series of div tags. And here's a very, very simple approach. We're not gonna to touch any code. We're gonna do it right from the CSS panel. First thing we're going to do is go to the layout tab. Now, you can find this in the common tab too, but it's less confusing if you go to the layout tab. I also have to be working with CSS classic mode, classic mode. It's a better mode to work with to understand the principles of Dreamweaver. So first thing we're gonna do is select insert div tag. Insert div tag. Now the first div that you show on your site is basically called the wrapper tag. Now this is semantics. This would be called the container tag. Some people, you can call it the Al Pacino tag if you want to, but we're gonna call it the wrapper tag because it wraps the entire site. Wrapper tag. Now wrapper tag doesn't have any rules because we simply created the div tag. We created the div tag and called it wrapper. Down here at the bottom left here, we're going to select the tag, make rule. Very important procedure here. Select the tag, make the rule inside your CSS panel. Create the tag, create the rule. Select the tag, make the rule. Select the tag, make the rule. If you understand that philosophy, it'll help you to get better at this whole process. So we're going to select the tag wrapper. And we're going to come here to the right and make a rule. Now, because it's div tag, Dreamweaver puts the pound symbol before the name of the tag. We did not call it pound symbol wrapper. We simply called it wrapper. So wrapper ID. Okay. Now, we're not going to change the font and the size and the style because that's what the body tag is used for. So we're going to go to box. We're going to set the dimensions of this box to be 900 pixels wide. Incidentally, you want to use pixels, not points. Points is for desktop publishing. There's 72 pixels to an inch. 72 pixels equal an inch. Now, let's, let me share with you a little trick here. Let's say I want to fit this inside of a 13-inch monitor, but I'm not sure how many pixels are inside of a 13-inch monitor. Very simply, you could say 13 times 72. That's how many pixels are in a 13-inch monitor. Simple, simple, simple. A lot of people don't understand and comprehend that you can do the math right inside your dialog box. You can do math, subtract, add, divide, multiply right inside your dialog box. We're gonna keep this simple and simply say 900 pixels wide, 650 pixels high. The apply option, it makes the div tag 900 pixels by 650. We're gonna drop this from the top a quarter inch. Again, let's say you slept through fourth grade math class. So 72 divided by four equals equals 18 pixels, which is a quarter inch. So we're gonna drop this 18 pixels from the top, automatically on it to the right, automatically on it to the left. Now we're gonna to go to border, give this a solid one pixel border. Now I don't have to set the color, it's gonna to default to the color of its container, which is black. So the border is going to be black. Now, of course, if you wanna make it a different color, like as an example, if I wanted to color sample this purple color, then I can do that. You can color sample anything, just like in Photoshop. Hit the apply option. Now I have a DIV wrapper that is 900 pixels by 650. Notice there's no padding. We're not going to put padding. We're just margin spaces from the outside of the box. Padding the space inside the box. Margin outside, padding inside. Hit OK. Make a change, save a change. Good habit to make changes, save changes. The one change we're going to make, I'm going to hit the pencil icon to edit this wrapper. It simply changes background color to White. The purpose of this is to hide the thing Dreamweaver.com logo in the background. 
make a change, save a change. Now, the rest is pure, pure child's play. This is so simple. This is such a simple technique. I am the only person I know that teaches this technique. It's so simple. We're going to come up with a series of div tags, starting with branding. Now, branding, if I could learn how to spell, branding is where the logo goes, the catchphrase, the phone number, the tagline, et cetera, et cetera, goes inside the branding tag. Now, why am I not calling it the header tag? Well, header implies it's on top. Perhaps your client doesn't want to put the logo on top. Maybe they want to put the logo in the bottom or the right or the left. So do not call your div tags with located call your dip tags what they do what they do so branding tag followed by site nav now site nav notice is camel case which means you can join two words when you can join two three four words it's proper procedure to capitalize the second third fourth word in this particular case site again if i can learn how to spell that would certainly be helpful site nav is going to be the name of my second div tag inside the proper followed by main content, followed by Google heads, followed by footer. Make a change, save a change. Good have to get into make changes, save changes. Now I have set up one, two, three, four, five separate div tags that we're going to put inside of the wrapper tag. Simple, simple way of doing this. Don't reinvent the wheel. Part of the reason I have a computer is I can copy and paste. There's way there's no typos. I double click. I'm a big fan of the double click. Double click is better than clicking and dragging. Clicking and dragging can cause problems. Double click the word, copy the word, command C on Macintosh, control C on Windows. At this point, you should really understand how to copy and paste. If you don't, then you shouldn't be watching this video. Copy and paste. Select div tag, name the div tag, paste, branding. Do the same thing for site nav. Double click, copy, select name of the tag, paste. Double click main content, copy, select name of the tag, paste. Double click Google Ads, copy, select name of the tag, paste. Again, nobody else uses this technique. I guarantee after today, you're going to see a lot of videos with this technique on it. And of course, they got it from me. So copy, double click, paste. Now I have four div tags, but I don't have any rules for the div tags. We need to come up with rules, CSS rules for these div tags. We're going to do this very simply.